One of the things we need to realize in our battle with Shaytan is that there's no Floyd Money Mayweathers who go 50 and 0. There's no Khabibs 29 and 0. You're going to lose. No matter how strong you are in your Iman, Shaytan's going to get you sometimes. He might get you on a unanimous decision, split decision. He might even knock you out. But you have to realize that you're going to lose. But when you look into the text of the Quran and the Sunnah, what is significant, what's really important is not that we lose sometimes, because that's going to happen. That's the nature of Bani Adam, of the children of Adam, as the Prophet ﷺ told us that all of the children of Adam make mistakes, but the best of those who make mistakes, they are the tawabun, the ones who are constantly repenting to Allah. And Allah told us in the Quran, Inna Allah yuhibbu tawabin, that Allah loves the tawabin, the ones who are constantly repenting, meaning that they're constantly sinning. So what's significant, what's important, is that when shaitan gets us, is that we show the heart of a champion, the heart of a true believer, that we bounce back from that defeat. Just like a true champion, when he's defeated or he loses in a match, you'll see that he's the next day in the gym working out. He's reviewing the tape to see and how did he lose. So we're reviewing now to see how did shaitan beat us? What did he do? How did he trick us? What was his trap that he used to make us fall into that? And then we repent to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And just like the champion is building himself up, making himself stronger so he doesn't lose again, we're building ourselves not in our gym, but in our places of worship, making our iman stronger, learning about our religion so we can be stronger and we can defend ourselves against shaitan. When you know your religion, when you know Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, when you know the traps of shaitan, then you're going to be able to be strong against him. Allah made it clear to us in the Quran that he wants us to remember him when we fall into sin and then to seek his forgiveness and then that we not persist on making that sin and that we never despair we never give up from the mercy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala the one who called us and said ya ibadi O oh my servants la taqnutu min rahmatillah do not despair from the mercy of Allah why not ya Allah why not tell us ya Rabb Allah said inna Allah yaghfiru dhunuba jami'a that indeed Allah forgives all of the sins who is Allah innahu huwa al-ghafur rahim indeed he is the ghafur the all forgiving uh, the Rahim, the All-Merciful, subhanahu wa ta'ala.